We start this hour in Taiwan, where the ruling Democratic Progressive Party candidate Lai ching has declared victory in Saturday's presidential election. It will be the first time a party has held on to power for three consecutive terms since Taiwan began directly voting for president back in 1996. Lai announced his victory at a press conference in Taipei. When it came time to choose between democracy and authoritarianism, Taiwan showed the whole world it chose democracy. With their own hands, the people of Taiwan have pushed back the outside forces who would influence us. This came after the largest opposition party candidate, the Kuomintang's Ho Yui, conceded by apologizing to his supporters. I worked hard during this presidential campaign, but unfortunately, I failed to bring a change in government. I'm sorry I let everyone down. The Taiwan People's Party's Ko Wenjie also gave a speech that appeared to acknowledge his defeat. We were able to show the world that Taiwan is more than just the DPP and the Kuomintang. We have proven that democracy is one of Taiwan's strongest values. Lai ching was born to a blue-collar family in northern Taiwan. He worked as a doctor before becoming a legislative council member in the 1990s. In 2010, he was elected mayor of Tainan City. And four years ago, he became Taiwan's vice president for Tsai Ing-wen's second term. Let's go now to NHK World's Orno Momo, who's been covering the election for us in Taipei. Momo, what do we think led to this result? Lai probably gained support from voters who wanted to maintain the status quo. Lai took a firm stance on China. He said he would follow in the footsteps of outgoing President Tsai Ing-wen. Tsai had worked on strengthening ties to other democracies in an effort to deter Chinese influence. Lai also voted to focus on domestic issues, namely housing and child care that may have earned him some support from young voters. The question of Taiwan-China relations may have also hurt the op opposition. The Kuomintang and the Taiwan People's Party both suggested improving ties with Beijing. Initially, the two parties had agreed to field a single presidential candidate, but they weren't able to decide who would be on the ticket and both wound up running. That didn't reflect well on either of them and may have split the opposition vote. It is believed that China will inevitably step up pressure following Lai's election victory. However, Lai said the DPP failed to get a majority in the parliamentary elections, which were also held Saturday. Lai said he regrets that their efforts weren't enough Without the majority, it may be tough for Lai to back his promise to tackle China. Thanks, Momo.